China has put their high yield bond industry, which I believe is about three hundred billion dollars worth of bonds, in great deal of jeopardy. If you own a high yield mutual fund, you probably have some of these bonds that are going to be facing default in your mutual fund that you own. I hope that you don't own any individual high yield bonds in China, but it's going to hurt some of these high yield mutual fund um, bonds. So uh, this is going to be uh, a problem and it's cause for concern. Their economy is slipping. Demand for oil is already dropping as it will. So, um, you know, supply chains will be hurt all the more. More people will be leaving China headed to Indonesia, Japan, Vietnam, Malaysia, other parts of Asia to get supply chains done. Hopefully some of them, which based on the environment that we have now here for our own companies, I don't think any of them are going to be running home. But they will go to other areas, hopefully, and begin to diversify their own supply chain. This is going to hurt them. When they leave China, they will not go back. Too much has happened, and they're not going to go back, particularly the tech companies. And basically, I believe that if this lasts for any length of time, the only American companies that will be in China will be financial companies. And now here we are, those very financial companies that are absolutely in love with um, Chinese human rights violations and communist regime uh, will be, the only companies left will be financial companies. But this High yield issue and their bond issue might even have them rethinking about what they've done. And frankly, I hate to say it about any American company that deserve everything they get. Uh, I don't think there's going to be a lot of sympathy. And let's hope that the government doesn't do something stupid like bail them out. Listen, this is a free market economy. Free market economy said, you want to go to China? Go to China. That's what you do. You're free market. Do whatever you want. Don't ask for help, though. You're a big boy. You're a big billion dollar a year or, or a lot bigger than that company. One would have to think that you're pretty astute, right? One would think that, wouldn't one? Well, guess what? There they sit. And I would hope that none of us say, oh, my gosh, I don't know what happened. Things were going really good. How'd this happen? I would hope that none of them would do that publicly anyway. It's one thing to be a fool. It's another thing to show your foolishness publicly. That's never good for stockholders. So it's going to be interesting to see what what happens with that. But look, they they may be the only thing left over there. It's going to hurt China. Uh, That is a good thing. Uh, But um, it is it is very, very interesting to see what is going on to go on. Hey, remember to click the subscribe button right here on the screen. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when new content is added. And more importantly than anything, you don't want to miss all three live hours of financial issues every day from nine to noon. And you can watch it on FISM.TV. That's FISM.TV. TV.